Hey, one thing we didn't discuss with Melbourne is what do you do about um, Gorn and um, and Grundy? Uh, so Gorn's played pretty easy. Gorn's played out of his brain when he when he was the main man. The signal is there, and I think they could want to bring him back, Grundy, this week. No, I know what I'm doing. Where, where are you sending him? He's Port, not a forward, mate. Port Adelaide. No, he's going to Geelong. Geelong. They need a ruck. Okay, I'll, I'll toss one at you. Yep. What about West Coast? Now, 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 Niz will listen to this, okay, and the Eagles will want to know what your reaction will be because they won't want to have I'm more. going all out for Tim English at the end of next year. Yeah, but if he won't come, because there's some talk now that maybe he won't come. So if Grundy, 29, Nick Nat's not sure if he's going to play. We've interviewed him this week. I think it'll appear on Wednesday he's night. He's on crutches again this week. Yeah, he's had surgery. Again. No, no, I had the surgery. Still on crutches. Because oh, when, f- when they do the Achilles, it's only a couple of weeks, still in the moon boot. So he did the rooms at the game on Optus. So did Benny, by the way. Mm-hmm. Benny's, back, Benny's back in the fold. Good. He's, he was, Callum Chambers interviewed him, Mark Gibson, you know how they do all yeah. the coded, coded groups. Well, Benny was doing it, Benny Cousins. But so, also Nick Nat. He's sort of saying, it's, I get the feeling he's saying, listen, I'll do pre-season and just see how I go and maybe I'll be back. So does that... Does that make them think, you know what, if we can get Grundy, you probably get him for bugger all. No, they might have to, take the sal- no. love to take the salary. Yeah, you'll take the salary. But they won't have to give anything up. No, no, you'll just take the salary. It'll yeah. be a dump. It'll be a dump. So dump it on us. Come and dump it on us, okay. 29-year-old Brody Grundy. And think- then Williams can go forward because he's more of a forward ruck, isn't he? has been very good this year. He has, but he does. He is a better as a forward ruck, isn't he, rather than a, a oh, ruck. Of course, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do they look at it? I mean, it's... Yeah. And do uh, do Melbourne let him go? Because it looks sounds like they're going to play him this week with Gorn. If it doesn't work, if it falls apart again, who have they got this week, Melbourne? Melbourne, Adelaide at the MCG. Mm. Yeah, I'm not convinced. I'm not sure if it, it looks oh, sorry, good on so, paper. So let's go back to that question yep. so that the Eagles know what you're going to do. Do they would care about sm- what I'm Would you smash them if they pull Grundy? Would you say, oh, you're not bad. You say you're going to the draft, you're going to take kids, you're oh. rebuilding, and then you take a 29-year-old? No, not if you've got four years in him, if he can give you four years, which I reckon he can. And I reckon, and he was, I put him in the top three in the comp in Ruckman when he's, when he's yeah. up and about. Yeah. And I, no, I wouldn't He doesn't want, want to be a forward. As, as long as you're developing a young ruckman, which they've got, underneath the Barnetts of this world, you've developed them underneath, you've got your second ruckman in Williams. Mm. I don't mind that. No, I, I don't think it has to be all out. The core of it has to be all out draft. But you've got, if you can get in an experienced player, like that. it's got four or five years maybe left in him, I wouldn't be averse to that. It'd be interesting if Nick is fit then and they have Nick and Grundy, suddenly they're in the, in the Hawthorne situation, they're in the Melbourne situation again. And the Fremantle situation mm. a bit, a bit, you know, the two big ruckmen. Yeah, I, I think that can work. I don't think that's, I think Jackson's more of a forward ruck too. And I yeah. think, um, or a winger.